The best way to import a curve into Hawkeye is to use the copy and paste method. First, we open up our surveys in either a spreadsheet format, which comes in the form of Excel or CSV, or we open it up as a text file. Here's a trick when opening up a text file. If you just open it up in Notepad or Word, you're not going to have each of the columns separated. So in order to separate them, you're going to want to open up Excel, select Open, find your text file, and when you open it, you need to make sure that you select Delimited, Next, then Space, or Comma, and then click Finish. Excel will then do the job of separating out your measure depth, inclination, and azimuth into separate distinct columns. Now whether you have a text file, Excel file, or CSV open, the next step is to select all of the MD inclination and azimuth numbers, copy, and then in Hawkeye right click on any of the existing curves and you will see five pasting options. In this example, I'm going to paste this survey list under a new wellhead. So the program is going to ask me for the name of this wellhead, its location, as well as the name of the new curve that I'm going to paste in. Step one in this case would be to name the new wellhead, and I'll call this slot four. In its location, I'll make it 100 feet east and 100 feet south of my current referenced wellhead, and then I'll hit OK. Then it's going to ask me for this new curve. I'll call this the slot four curve. I'll make this an offset, so this is a work curve that's already been drilled, and I'll make it red. And then I hit OK, and it says successfully imported. So it's a little confusing to see all of these curves the same color, so I'll make this curve that I just made a different color by going to Edit Curve Data and selecting a different color. So there we have our imported curve. If I want to follow that curve, I'm going to need to right click on it and select Set as Current Work Curve. So now I am following this curve that I just brought in. If I want to export a curve, I have several options. I can export directly from the data tree by right clicking on a curve and selecting Export Survey Curve. The most common format to export in would be this .csv file. I can also export in the report generator. You can activate the report generator here. And once it's open, you need to make sure that you select the curve that you want to export first by left clicking on it. And then up at the top, we can print to paper or PDF, push out to an Excel spreadsheet, or export that curve to a CSV.